for the Uncle Rico Show. It's time for the Uncle Rico Show. So chug a course, cause here we go. It's the 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 it is time, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your world-famous Uncle Rico show with your world-famous Uncle Rico host, Mr. Mike Morse down below, Mr. Reverend Bob Levy up top, and uh, joining us in a moment, our guest tonight, Mr. Anthony Cumia, mm. Compound Media, the bad guy is in the building. Welcome everybody. How how's everybody doing? How you feeling? What's going on, Mike? Been a good weekend, and uh, to uh, to celebrate Anthony uh, coming, I'm got a little bourbon Skula. going here. Skula. So I like it. I should have mm-hmm. drink too. God damn it, I'm an idiot. Bobby, how are you, my we friend? We can we can start the show in a minute. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> doing good. Doing good. What are you sipping oh, on tonight? Tea, as always. All right. I don't. Uh, I only drink on the weekends, motherfuckers. It is the weekend. Uh, Please don't ruin the show with super chats. All right. And on that note, Danny Brophy, five dollars. Airlock Bob. Any updates on the supposed pool? Monday meeting. Monday, Monday meeting. meeting. It's doing Monday. It. Something <laughs> happens. Monday. There'll Monday. be more talking. Yeah. Yeah. Extra more good. Uh, all right. Hey, uh, we got a text. Uh, His email's messed up. Hold on. I'm going to text you the number. Sorry, boys. No problem. So, Bob, so, so Mm -hmm. what is the meeting about? He's giving me all the, uh, all the paperwork from the the town, all the permits. So I have them and when we're going to start exactly. We should be starting in no more than another week, so um, what it'll if it be done. Cold? What? If it I, I don't cold? know. It's going to warm up. It's going to be seventy, so we'll see. Is it what are you going to do? Is it freezing cold by you guys right now? It is tonight. Yeah, it got bad tonight. Yeah, yeah, we're in the twenties down here, mm. down south, y'all. That ain't fun. No, I didn't, I didn't sign up. To live there. Yeah, I didn't sign up for all this yeah. shit. The fuck? <laughs> Surrounded by people who are ten times warmer than me because they're huge and fat, <laughs> and and now I'm I'm stuck here freezing my balls off. Yeah, you thought it was because they they didn't eat well. It's just their survival because they know it gets the twenties down there. <laughs> right, like hi, they they you know build all year to hibernate. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. They're like bears out here. They're just storing the fat for the sleep. God bless them. Um. All right. Well, listen. We're going to, Akumi is coming in here in a second. We got a, a hot, hot package on the shelf tonight. Mm. The boys put something together, especially with thoughts of uh, Kumia being here. Nice. Well, I'm anxious to see uh, what, what they have prepared. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Abatista, $2. There are supply chain issues on pool ladders. <laughs> I can there get was, it. There was weird shit like that in the supply chain that it was like all of a sudden now weird shit was everything was done with everything was missing shit. You know what I mean? Every every kind of construction was fucked up. That is true. Of- that is true. We, at furniture stores, when we yeah. first moved out here, I think it took us like two and a half to three months to get our like couches and yeah, it was fucking everything. And, and they're all the same thing. Supply chain. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You know, of course, it's, just a, it's a great excuse whether or not it's true at that point for any business. Oh, I'd love, I'd love to. Yeah. Supply chain. It's like going to a mechanic. You don't know shit about a car. You just yeah. have to take their word for it. You go, all right, it sounds right. <laughs> I'm still know. using COVID to not go to parties. I would go, but uh, a little worried. You know, I had a little sniffle. I don't want to get anybody infected. You and Howard. <laughs> yeah, right. I was going to say, yeah, you, you guys aren't running into the burden buildings. You're like, uh, <laughs> good luck, guys. Yeah. I'm out there, man, in the parties. Painkiller, $2. The only pool Bob will see is in John's mouth. How dare you? By the way. I couldn't fit that in my yard. <laughs> there is a mass. Are you, are you aware of this, Bob? There is a mass unblocking going on from one John Melendez uh, over the past what? day. Apparently, he's unblocking 
tons of people on Twitter. Good, because I blocked him because he blocked I me. Fuck him. He can go fuck himself. Why don't you right. check to see if Ann blocked you? Yeah. Should, should I check? I don't. He's. He did, I just he did check. Not. He did not. He did not unblock me. He will not unblock me. I there are many things he will do. Yeah. There you go. Unblock me is not one of them. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> no yeah. So where goes that fantasy, kids? Oh, oh well, I'm not going to be able. I'm not going to be able to follow the world of uh, one John Melendez. Mm. But uh, you guys <laughs> sent Brendan a link. <laughs> yeah, I'm on it. Um. All right, let's get this party started. Let's get into this. Kumio, get in here. He's got the link. He's figuring out. You know, he's not great with technology unless it's uh, video games. I understand that. I sympathize. But enough about that. It's time for the Uncle Rico show. Sunday Rico with the boss. I like the title. Let's go. Yeah, baby. Welcome to the world famous. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jeff. Look at fucking collar just to start off with. <laughs> the, the collar, first of all, have you ever seen hair like this? This is, you got to see, there's like a dent in his head. Maybe he's wearing headphones all day. I don't understand, but look at this. Look at this design of this hair. Let's see. What's going on here? Even the video doesn't want it to show. <laughs> I know, like, this is gross. I can't, I can't, well, I, I can't play that twice. Uh, hold on. I'm going to close this and do that. Wait. All right. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? What are you looking for? Where is he? Uh, all right, here we go. Okay. We're back. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Welcome to the world famous <laughs> Stuttery John podcast. How are you, everybody? The world. <laughs> like, <Jesus. laughs> what is going on here? What is that about? I, I, yeah, how do you get their hair like that? He parted with a pickaxe or something. <laughs> Wearing half a motorcycle helmet. Or, Look at the twirl on top. That if I get, <laughs> he looks like a piece of shit that was made by Mr. Carvel. He does, yeah, you look like you have uh, soft serve yogurt hair. You know, <laughs> Bob's, Bob's big boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you, you just want to spread like gummy bears and Oreo crumbs around his hair right there. A little, ch little cherry on top. Famous favorite host, stuttering <laughs> John Mullen. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. It looks like a monkey in a zoo playing with his head. That's what it looks like. It really is. He's just reaching up there, figuring stuff out. He doesn't realize it's opposite. Yeah. It's your world famous favorite host, <laughs> stuttering John Mullen. <laughs> He can't find it. He doesn't know because the camera reverses it. Yeah. So, you know, it and he's just like, uh, he's so confused. <laughs> Poopy hair. What the hell is going on? Get on one side or the other. Will you please? Thank you. Get on one side or the other. <laughs> uh, he does funny. have time before the show to look at this, right? It's not, he doesn't like wake up and run to the camera. Well, he's not going to clean his mirror to look at it. You know. <laughs> right. And, I mean, we all see ourselves before we hit yeah. enter studio. It's mm -hmm. not, you know. Right. I don't know. Thinking about growing my hair long. <laughs> Just say, fuck it. There's the link to donate. PayPal.me. There he is. That's <laughs> John Melendez, Inc. <laughs> I realize, my friends. Hello, Mr. Cumia. Hello. Welcome. Hi. I'm just having some fucking issues. <laughs> of course, always issues. The wow. second you have to do something, like I'd be fucking around playing games, whatever. The second I have to do something, it's like, oh, he has a set time and everything. Then you could always depend on your fucking shit yeah. fucking up. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I had to restart every fucking router and thing in the house. So <laughs> all good, all good. John's got to restart his hair, so he had to restart oh, yeah. his hair three <laughs> times. You, you, we've only gotten thirty six seconds in, but I'd like to, I'd like to restart this, please. Uh, so this was this package the boys made especially for you being on. I don't know what that means, but let's uh, let's watch together. 
Yeah, baby! Welcome to the world famous Stuttering John podcast. How are you, everybody? It's your world famous favorite host, <laughs> Stuttering John Melinda. Yeah, what the hell is going on? Get on one side or the other. What do you think? <laughs> Have you ever heard of anybody having a tug of war on top of their head? You know, what, <laughs> what are you doing? Thank you. I don't know. I'm thinking about growing my hair long. Just say fuck it. There's the link to donate. PayPal.me slash John Melendez Inc. You know what I realized, my friends? I did the show on Tuesday. Which by oh, the way, <laughs> he just remembered right when he was about to go in that he's online and he's like, Oh, I don't wanna <laughs> I don't wanna pick it right now. <laughs> in my opinion, it was one of my best shows. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't even bother with that. I, I mean, have you ever seen a collar like that oh, on yeah. anything? <laughs> it looks like it's the same color, but it doesn't fit that shirt. It's for a different shirt with the same design. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he ironed it flat so it would not pop up like a real collar would you know? <laughs> somebody ironed his shoulders too in the <laughs> if that was a bird it would be inside of a fucking mountain right now it would just smash right in look at that how does that collar fit that shirt at all it's it's amazing to me uh this is kumia country Dollar there it is Jeremiah. look out yeah. you, know I, you know who i could be i got my my mafia out there <laughs> if you don't make that shirt you're out of your mind <laughs> that's the perfect yeah. shirt fella butt 91 uh yeah. is there a kumia country yeah. shirt in the works gotta be man. gotta be. Do that it. would be a good one man just to hear Chad go, you're welcome. You're yeah, welcome. yeah. That would be worth it. Yeah. <laughs> what a tool. <laughs> With Ron Filipowski, the man who found out who Jared Schmuck was, and Hal Sparks. Oh, Jesus, and we, already with the fucking ear. We just got oh, on, and he's fucking, he, knows he was the going ear. for the nose, the ears, the, the hair, the collar. It's And we're 60 seconds in, by the way. <laughs> He's 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 like a third base coach. He's all over his fucking head <laughs> and face. He did a three hours show. I only oh. got what is that? Uh, I don't What's know. What's but... with his like yeah. his facial movements are yeah. just getting out of control. I think this was a when he was doing a little off Broadway John where he was trying to it? you know uh, show his acting chops oh okay he, yeah. yeah sometimes you can emote with just an expression he <laughs> is stupid <laughs> today my guest is range <laughs> they're playing robin de niro with a stroke it looks like <laughs> robin i have no de niro <laughs> this is like if raging bull was about a car salesman and not a doctor <laughs> <That's what laughs> <he looks> like. <laughs> <laughs> Two or three super chats. Let me tell you something. You should be ashamed. Oh, he's scolding the audience for only two or three super chats. How dare you? And it was one of his best shows. <laughs> right. <laughs> In spite of everybody not giving any money. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. When you think it was your best show and you only got two or three mm -hmm. super chats, odds are it was not your best mm -hmm. show. Mm -hmm. uh, the audience does not agree with you. At least since Chad's podcast, uh, he can't say he has the dirtiest nails in podcasting. That is true. Now, now Chad, of course, takes the uh, takes the flag. Maybe there's an oil can epidemic we're just not aware of. <laughs> That's an oil. stray oil can. Yeah. Yeah. It's an oil can that says, uh, smear here to make Hitler mustache. <laughs> <laughs> He's like fucking uh, like Pepe Le Pew. Uh, uh, with trying to get rid of the stripe down his right. back with the yep. paint or oil or whatever it is. <laughs> Love it. And everyone spends so much money on the holidays. I know I did. Jeez, between, let's see, Thanksgiving, I gave all the kids some money. Yeah, it's called child support. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and dragging, uh, I, to order. yeah. <laughs> I saved money on uh, brosillas for my daughter. Yeah. <laughs> Here's some stuffing and a five. 
Hey, he's like, Who gives I, out money on Thanksgiving? Like, I mean, come on. It's just like it's not done like that, you know? He doesn't do it. He never gives money away. He doesn't know how it's given. So he doesn't know the scenario like, oh, I put it in their stocking or I put it in a card. No, he yeah. just like, oh, we put it in the turkey. Uh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and if anything, if anything, that move sounds like a, a, a rich and powerful like dad who's never home. would Right, do right. Like that. Yes, right. that's the scumbag father from like succession right <laughs> here's right. a picture of me since you wouldn't yeah. see me here's a million dollars fuck off now fuck off yeah, yeah. <laughs> here's a million dollars don't cash it till wednesday <laughs> when i'm in, when i'm out of town <laughs> then thanksgiving that did him showing off his one straight finger yeah look at him bragging over there huh this is my one in the stink. Yeah. <laughs> Watch. And my daughter's birthday, December 7th. What the fuck Money. kind of goalpost is that? Look at the thing. <laughs> like, they're so far apart, and they're next to each other. Next on Stuttering John, I do shadow puppets. <laughs> this is a duck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> that I took the great Lily Bell out for. More money. Then Christmas. And now does it but but does he think no one else is paying money on these holidays that has right, children right. or that even doesn't have children? Like that it's the holidays. You're supposed yeah. to spend money. Everyone knows this. This is nothing yeah. new. Oh. Was the title of this uh, episode, podcast episode, What Bugs Me About Giving Things to My Children? <laughs> <laughs> Kardashians. Yeah. <laughs> In two days, on January 1st, my youngest son turns 16. Turns into a daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I got my son such a bad. I got my daughter such a bad gift two years ago that if it happened today, she she would have told me to suck her dick. <laughs> <laughs> new year, like new it. penis. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> be birthday, Oscar. It'll be his birthday on Saturday, and I will be having either lunch or dinner with him or both. Who knows? And that's one of the things. Uh, I would try. Oh, oh God! There we go. There we go. Don't be surprised. Yeah, don't be surprised if it pops out the other side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Today, you know, I gotta tell you, it's in there, man. What Get it you, out of there! What are you doing? <laughs> what are you singing? Endless love. Get. What are you doing? Shouldn't there be a place you can go and get your head clean? You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. People ask me, oh, you know, John, go back. What's your biggest <laughs> accomplishment? Nobody. I was have three. I have three. I All right. <laughs> Wait. Nina Depenta. <laughs> How much you want to bet his kids aren't number one? No, it has to be. Not, Unless I, does he have three kids? Because that would be he's probably all of his three kids. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Three and a half. Individually. Think- I think he's grouping them all into one. All right, so it'll be my kids, uh, Howard Stern show and the Jay Leno show. It's something about him has to be. I haven't watched this, so I'm just guessing. I'm just yeah. I'm just going off my John uh, sonar, and I'm getting blips <laughs> all over the screen here <laughs> that his kids are coming in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Uh, Night, Lily, Oscar. Oh, I know all three of them. My kids yeah. are my biggest accomplishment. Hands I'm down. My only accomplishment. I mean, all you did was come, really. I mean, yeah, look, I mean, it's not a big, di- you know what I mean? It's good to have a kid, but the fucking, three, you didn't really, you weren't in batches. He didn't squeegee off his stomach with his exactly. underwear. Yeah. <laughs> you could have been a shirt. <laughs> and I'd be willing, he was on his back all three, so he didn't have to do as much work. Right. Yeah. Three, this year. three times I didn't come on myself like an animal and look what happened. <laughs> My greatest accomplishment. <laughs> They're everything for me. And everything else is icing on the cake. Let me say hi to everybody here. I got a lot to talk to you guys about today. Shorty One, how are you? Kinky Streets is here. Nikki B, my moderator. 
Chan Morgan. All these people left, like 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 oh. right out of a great white concert. Uh, <laughs> more, well, this we, we, we know he saved money this Thanksgiving because he was in Iowa, not with his kids. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I got to talk to you, Nikki. I had some some. I got some in, info. Thomas McNulty, CB. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, uh, uh, Mark will be 193. He is here with you and me. Okay. Uh, Debbie Cat from Delaware. That's where my ex friend Scott D. Pace uh, is from. Although I'll still call him my friend. Scott D. Kate, D. Pace. Yeah. He moved in with Felix D. Cat. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, it's a it's it's a bigger <laughs> insult. <laughs> Everybody have fun tonight. <laughs> a bigger insult for John to call you his friend than not friends anymore. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He goes, my former friend, but I'll still call him my friend because I hate him that much. <laughs> he, was, although he couldn't take the heat. He couldn't take the heat that that systemic racism is alive and well. And I pointed out factual information for him, and then he blocked me. You know, Scott, you're... <laughs> well, because he's heard you talk behind the scenes at work. That's why, why he blocked you. Yeah, maybe like, hypocrit hypocritical yeah. uh, blocking right there. Oh, yeah. God, it drops N-bombs and fucking... <laughs> it drops it on the air. Yeah, uh, on the air. different time. uh, -uh. It was a different time. It was five o'clock. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yesterday's a different time. You yeah. can't use that fucking excuse. <laughs> I love you, but, but I'm not a, a rapist uh, anymore. That was uh, two weeks ago. <laughs> that was way over there. Mm -hmm. Oh, Vicky Flood. And uh, I mean, really, Scott, seriously. Ugh. I mean, we argue all the time. What? What? So we get one argument and then you block me after you. Say to me that we're never gonna block each other Look again. At that. Two, two fucking monsters. <laughs> he has a, he can file a lawsuit Girl. against them. <laughs> if oh, yes. if that's the energy I'm getting off of that, <laughs> I need no, my energy no. drink. No. Oh god! <laughs> oh, <there. laughs> well, you, didn't, you didn't see that on Zillow. I have not seen that yeah. on Zillow. No. Oh, Anthony didn't see his apartment that he was trying to sell with the oh, cat yeah. in the middle of the uh, floor. Anthony, oh, we were, we were going over pictures that were posted on the uh, website for when he sold his place. Yeah. And there's literally lumps of cat shit on the carpet in the pictures that are in on the, the pictures. In the pictures. Try to sell the house. It's oh, that's, unbelievable. That's great. That's John. Okay, Scott. Talk about a hypocrite. But then again, ain't that what your party is? The GQP? Who who drinks like that? Uh Pete Townsend is a G chord. He's fucking doing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm saying it's like it's, this guy's just pulling ropes and cables all day or something. Like, what is going on? Well, there's probably condensation on the side of the can, and he doesn't want anything wet touching his fingers to clean him off. You know? <laughs> yeah. ah, right. He likes he likes to Good keep the theory as any. Deep. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hold on. We should never block each other, and you block me. Yeah, nice. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, ah. Make sure you pay your mom for that chair you drive. <laughs> and that's his friend, Marco V, sending him that message. This would be good. Marco V, 93, thanks for the 10 bucks. Make sure you pay your mom for that chair you broke. <laughs> she said, what do you... Are you what the fuck? Me? I almost threw out my back. I, I was sweating to death after that. Oh, so his mom is added to the list of people he wants yeah. to sue. Right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Where shall we start? Uh, I have to talk about. Well, he doesn't uh, even. He know. doesn't even know. Like, how do you? How do you? not know what you're starting your show with i've been uh, hey believe me we've all had our share of shows where you're looking at the last 10 minutes going i got nothing left uh -huh. but fuck you better have something to start your fucking yeah. show with 
yeah, the, the start is usually not where you run out of gas. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Stick fingers and ears. Check. All right. Uh, <laughs> super chat. That. Check. I got nothing. All right. I got Marco V's name. Uh, Jan Morgan, thank you for the five bucks. The show is fantastic. Thank <laughs> you. You all make up your horrible super chat day right after Christmas. <laughs> look at that. Oh, oh, man, look at God. that. That That's neck. Back. Like I watched uh, Anaconda swallow a goat the other day. <laughs> yeah. it, it looked like like a... some cat shit going down because it. Shit in his monster energy can. <laughs> yeah. They shit anywhere. Yeah, just, <laughs> shit is everywhere. Second spot opens up. They're racing for Christmas. Get done eating the roast pork, which is a tradition in our <laughs> household. Tradition. Oh, my father's tradition. No wonder you. No wonder your tooth broke on a spaghetti with pesto. <laughs> Father and mother used to do. It's a Danish dish, I believe. They're very big with pork. <laughs> of course, I love the little pork rinds on top. Oh, they're so crispy and delicious. And I started eating it. And of course, I chipped the temporary. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, something doesn't look right there. And uh, I was right. I like pork rinds. Whatever yeah, it was, yeah. He's just I, going too fast. He's an animal. He's going yeah. too fast, and he's yeah, yeah. He's chewing. He's chewing uh, with a tooth. He's not supposed to chew with. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why is he chewing with a <laughs> an <Crunchy>. incisor? <laughs> it was I pork on the cob. <laughs> yeah, pork on the cob. <laughs> 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 So that fell off when I was chewing through the rinds like Fred Flintstone. Um, <laughs> oh. So after we ate, and I eat small portions, believe it or not. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, not. Yeah. <laughs> believe it or not, I'll opt for <laughs> not. <laughs> yeah. Are you shitting me? Uh, yeah. I stop as soon as the tooth breaks. <laughs> <laughs> Ma, put this in the bag with the other ones. Yeah. You redlined his mouth on fucking pork. Pieces are flying off of him like a Columbia, like the Columbia yeah. shuttle coming in. <laughs> like a, he's sitting here going, believe it or not, I just nibble. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Keep your hands away from the hopper at all times. <laughs> right. <laughs> Wood chipper boy over here. Call me a fat fuck, but I don't eat that much. Ask my mom. Fuck. I'm not a big eater. Mom. Ask your mom. Aaron Miller, thanks for the pop How do you know you got COVID? And what were the symptoms? It's impossible to get a test for AM. Well, I know for this very simple reason. After we got done eating on Christmas... I suddenly became incredibly drowsy. Now, normally, <laughs> I see those quiet. 12 cause lights. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Uh, 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 that, was, that was rather disgusting. Ooh. It's a normal occurrence. Hold on. I got to bring it yeah, back. Yeah, you bring that back. Because he, like, almost vomited. <laughs> yeah. After we got done eating on Christmas... I suddenly became incredibly drowsy. Now, normally... I get tired. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I don't know, but <laughs> only a pussy can do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's like a porn star's asshole after too many, too many, too many minutes on set. His mouth pink sock. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. yeah. He had a yeah. blowout. Yeah. Doc Holiday uh, had less uh, s a severe coughing. <laughs> Normally, that doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> After I eat, it's a normal occurrence. <laughs> Maybe your mom's poisoning you. <laughs> you <ever think> <laughs> Let's let's see what's a normal occurrence: the chipping of teeth, the falling asleep, uh, and yet again, let's remind everyone: he doesn't eat much. He doesn't no, eat much. No, no. 
like a bird, this guy. It's not like a food coma. People go, oh, God, after Christmas dinner, I fell into the food coma on the couch, and yeah. I passed out for a little while. So he didn't eat a lot. Right, right. He's, and he's tired after he eats. I'm sure he didn't drink a lot either. Oh, that oh, wouldn't I'm have sure. to do with it. Oh. Right. This was a different kind of tired. I couldn't even make it through the game. And then I slept at my brother's. <laughs> He was just watching the game. He wasn't playing. What the fuck is he talking about? I, hey, I told him, pull me out. I can't. Yeah, take me out, coach. I, I just can't. I took myself out at halftime, and I went out back. It was uh, a <laughs> lot. I just didn't feel right. Didn't feel right at all. <laughs> Next day, I drove out to my nephew's house. Wow, that was a great story, by the way. Holy yeah, shit. Out. Absolutely nowhere. Yeah. Nowhere. You would think you would say, this is different. I felt different. And you would have a reason or an ending as to why you felt different. Yeah. This is the funny thing. He felt different, right? He felt, knew he had COVID, but he drove to his nephew's house to give it to him. Sure. You know? uh, yeah. Yeah. I felt different. For some reason, I felt talented. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, I could think and stuff. Uh, I, I felt smart and uh, likable to other people. It, it was, was just the weirdest a feeling day. I never experienced. It was agents calling me all day. I couldn't believe it. I said, I said something ain't right here. <laughs> something ain't right. <laughs> My ear isn't itching. Nothing like that. Okay, what's going on? Well, oh, if, if COVID causes talent, the vaccine works. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> we'll do the super chats here in a minute, guys. Out east, <laughs> I'm like way out east. That's exit 61 or whatever. Patchog. And I do, because he's an animator. He's he's incredibly talented. So I do a character for his animated uh um, six minute short he's doing called uh, Rumsfeld. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Rumsfeld. <laughs> I got there and said, okay, where's the rum? <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind my prolapsed mouth. <laughs> when you do the anim animation, can you pull my head up from the collars? <laughs> Look at how it just keeps going down more. It's like I'm trying to watch him and he's going under his shirt. He's his drowning. head is sinking. It is. It's, well, it's crazy. We noticed that uh, a couple episodes back that that it's almost like in quicksand throughout the show. It just <laughs> yeah. lower and lower. I have a cup of coffee first with my mom. Oh God! Right out there, this. and I realize I'm gonna let you in on a little a sad fact about my life. <laughs> it wasn't the coffee with your mom part. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's that I was born. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's hear. <laughs> oh, Jesus, let's, let's hear him top coffee with mom. The OCD. Sometimes I'll be driving, uh -oh. and I'll have to breathe in when I'm passing, or like <laughs> and some then of the light. out. <laughs> wow, isn't that wild? Yeah. Wow, that crazy. A lot of people don't have that problem. <laughs> or signs on the left, and then breathe out after I pass two. I, I, I hope he never passes another sign on the left. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I hear? Uh, here's that. Stopping on a train track and holding your breath. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Closing your hour. eyes. <laughs> yeah, but hour yeah. <laughs> it goes on almost subconsciously. I don't even realize it. But, like, even after it was going on, I, like, I started to start to feel like I wasn't breathing properly. I do the, I do the, uh, I do the voiceover. You know, like like a bunch of lines. Kill it, of course. Oh God, <laughs> that's what everybody loves about him: modesty. Yeah, yeah the modesty. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> go go to my brothers to watch the Giants lose, and then <laughs> oh shit, I, you know, I drink. A big um, diet, uh, uh, a Red Bull, like a diet. A diet, a Red Bull? A diet, a, diet, Red Bull, yeah. a, diet, a Red Bull. Hey. <laughs> Mamma mia. <laughs> got a big swim meet coming up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's got a, yeah. <clears throat> Hang out, my brother. 
I try to eat a veal parmesan hero. I get through like half. I get That's home. That's what most people eat. Right. So <laughs> how many, unless you're a construction worker, yeah. haven't worked or, or eaten all morning, and you yeah. eat an entire. Most people do go. I'll save the other half for yeah. later. Or unless you know, he says he doesn't eat a lot. A giant veal parm hero. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah unless, <laughs> unless your name's Tiny, most people eat half, yeah. and that's yeah. and you're good. You know. I couldn't even. I could only eat half of it. Yeah. Okay. Like a human. Right. I didn't even pick the cheese off the paper where my fingers <laughs> needed. <laughs> An animal. I had, I was up from one o'clock to like eight in the morning with the worst headache I've ever had. I've never had a migraine. This was worse. He's not. Wait a minute. Right. He's never had a migraine, but this was this worse. Right, right. All right. Makes perfect Figure that logic sense. out. Yeah. Well, how would I know I never had it? But you know what I'm saying. Oh, no, yeah. we don't. So bad. I go through my mom's. <laughs> the only one who doesn't purse. know what I'm saying is him. <laughs> yeah, his mom personally. <laughs> <laughs> Pantry. She's got no aspirin. I'm going crazy now. So I just take, I start drinking her, her, uh, I don't know, Close cough, light? whatever, <laughs> you know, cough and cold. Cough and cold. cold. <laughs> I made some scissor. Yeah. <laughs> I can't pronounce NyQuil. I don't know what those words. <laughs> yeah. Cough and cold. Cough and cold. You got to only be like a dollar ninety nine for that bottle. Just this cough yeah. and cold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he has not mentioned alcohol at all. Do you really think he's gone those two days without drinking? Uh, well, if right. he had, that's the reason why he's falling apart. That's number one. <laughs> it be withdrawal. Yeah. Yeah. That's why he's chugging, he's chugging NyQuil at one o'clock in the morning. You know? I'm lighting in the coffin and I'm really cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah, She's got a mouthwash and then the right. NyQuil. <laughs> she, I'm looking for hand sanitizer. <laughs> <laughs> Mom had some rubbing alcohol, luckily. <laughs> then I go upstairs, I start popping some of the aspirin, you know, or that's only supposed to be low dose aspirin, you know, for, for my um, strokes. Then I take a Klonopin. Yeah, that's good. Hey, that sounds right. great. So yeah. he, he's chugging NyQuil, and now he popped up Klonopin. Okay. <laughs> Picture of hell. Who does he think he is? Keith Moon over here? <laughs> <What's going on? laughs> then I drove a car here. into a pool. <laughs> <laughs> My head is killing me. It's killing us, too. So I grab a shotgun, <laughs> and I load it and point it to <laughs> the <in my> head. <laughs> This has got to be the energy drinks because you don't think you have COVID. <laughs> so, so he goes, this has got to be the energy drinks as he's chugging a 44 ounce monster throughout this episode. <laughs> <Not Yeah. ready. laughs> but I felt like shit coughing. Mm. Good. You felt like you looked right. <laughs> and my head was killing me. The head started feeling better. That night, I went over to my brothers to watch some more of the football. With COVID, he just gets he goes. He felt terrible. He gets up. He right, goes, right. Go back to freeloading off of my brother. First, I go to the pizza co. Pop Pilato's pizza co. I grab a slice of pizza, and I start feeling like, that place. Yeah. <laughs> I, I return my half the chicken sandwich, and I couldn't finish. <laughs> I made sure to breathe on every employee there. Yeah, yeah. this fucking guy. He gave everybody COVID in that one day. Look at all the places he went thinking he right. had COVID. Like dizzy. Like I'm walking. I just, I'm like, you know, I might, I might just go, I might just go back to my mom's. She hasn't got sick in years. <laughs> yeah, is it just me or is this the worst story anyone's ever told in the history? Uh, it is so bad. Oh. It is. There's no excitement to it. No oh. dynamic to yeah. it. No. Anyone would lose interest oh. in moments. He is a terrible storyteller. 
Yeah. I like want a third grader I, telling you know, what I did, what I did this summer. Yeah. Well, first I went there and then I did this and then I went there and then I did I this. coffee. Yeah. Then I went to my brother's and I, I went past all these signs. I couldn't stop not <laughs> breathing breathe and breathing too signs. much. I passed out because I was holding my breath by uh, left turn. <laughs> <laughs> I like to put him in my pool and put signs in front of him so he breathes and drowns. <laughs> put the signs underwater, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I had a change of thought. You know, I don't get to hang my brother that often. Now, keep in mind, I don't even think this is COVID. Sure. Dumb. I just think it's. It's me being wacky or something, you know, because you never oh. think of it. No, you uh, always think of it. Is there anybody in the last three years when yeah. you start feeling really sick, you think, I of wonder course. if it could be COVID. This is, it's the first thing yeah. you think of. Yeah. And especially Mr. Vaccine Advocate right, and, right. you know, yeah. all this, wear a mask, do that. He's, he's thought, I didn't think it was COVID. I thought it was me being wacky. <laughs> uh, Dr. John just uh, diagnosed himself. You yeah. have stage three wackiness, uh, stuttering John. I'm sorry it's to terminal. tell you. He thought he was Bob Nelson on stage. You know, right. he's all uh, yeah, he's wacky. Uh, he's so funny. And, he, and oh. this was the guy that was like, hey, if you're not vaccinated, you shouldn't be allowed to go to hospital. Dude, right. I don't know what happens to you. Uh, Mr. Hey, everybody, come give your Uncle COVID a hug. <laughs> <laughs> Hold my toot. I'm going to hug everybody. <laughs> yeah, it's like having a corpse over for dinner. Park <laughs> his body and falling off in front of you. What are you doing? It's falling apart. <laughs> that oh. night, same thing. Could not sleep. Could Tell not sleep. No headache anymore, but could not sleep. Maybe he missed all the cat shit uh, at his place. You know? He rolled over. He thought he was on the remote. It was a piece of dry cat shit. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh. And it changed the channel somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was wandering like the wild geese in the west. What? Oh, Ooh. you rock. My sister-in-law took the test. She tested negative, but she was feeling sick. <laughs> could have been that I was just around. That could be. <laughs> that, is, that is a side effect of having me stay over. My whole audience last week uh, tested positive for not having fun. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out my niece had it. And I know I had it. <laughs> Dude. Oof, what the oof, fuck? Oof. Oh, oh, here he goes. Arlac pit from Return of the Jedi. Yeah. 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 Oh my God. Swallowing people. Oh. Before you go, well, you're, I shouldn't have flew. I took the test. My mom was so kind. <laughs> Stuart's uh, at local pharmacy brought me a COVID test. <laughs> the one place he didn't go right. that he <laughs> could have gone to was the pharmacy to get a COVID test. Right. His brother's house, the pizzeria, all those places he went to, no problem. <laughs> and I took the test and I was negative. So I got on a plane. But I know <laughs> I... <laughs> <laughs> and my brother took the test positive. Of course I got I got him I got it a lot quicker than he did. And of course, yeah, he's so got to wave it to your brother. That's what right. Yeah, right. I got it quicker than him. First of all, he's got to win uh, right. already yeah, yeah. the competition. And second, he's just admitting right now that he gave it to his brother. He goes, I had it way quicker than he did. <laughs> yeah, it's called it's called uh, patient zero. It's called giving. Yeah, it yeah. You. You're a Idiot. carrier. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it dissipated. Felt great uh, yesterday, and I feel great now. <laughs> but when I was doing that show, my friends, I was still getting over it. That's why I was sweating so much. Uh, what? What's the excuse for all the other shows he's sweating? <laughs> yeah. <in there>? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, I want to see that again. What was that? Put that up again. <laughs> 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 the fact that I fell off my mom's chair and broke it. Besides, I just got out. <laughs> all, right. all right. All right. Yeah. 
So he fell off his mom's chair. What kind of thing that a person can do can make you fall off a chair? Let's think. Hmm. Kogan. An earthquake? <laughs> uh, earthquake? The, 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 the Omicron strain, I believe. <laughs> That's why I was sweating so much. <laughs> besides the fact that I fell off my mom's chair and broke it. And besides the fact that I just got out of the shower. See, I knew Jack. So wait, he, is that are those simultaneous? Like he he got out of the shower, sat in a chair, and broke it. Yeah, he didn't I use hope. a towel as he was sweating. Yeah, <laughs> he didn't break it. He just slid off. Of it. Yeah, yeah. So he breaks a sweat taking a shower. All right, I got out of the yeah. shower. I was just soaked. <laughs> exactly taking a shit. And he comes out. They go, "What did you shower?" He goes, "Yeah." I did. How strenuous. <laughs> how strenuous is to towel yourself off. <laughs> I get nervous whenever I do something I'm not used to doing. So. <laughs> <laughs> It was the holidays. <laughs> me offered. You think you had and you still flew, dummy? No, I took the test and I was negative. You fucking asshole. <laughs> How many times did the tests fuck up? Oh, like yeah. so many oh. people have taken it and gotten false positives. Other right. people get false negatives. Yeah. You have to trust your instincts too. If you're not right. feeling well, maybe right. stay away from your elderly mother. <laughs> uh, the, the people that are really uh, in danger if they do get COVID. But this guy, oh, he don't care. Whatever's yeah. for John. Get on a plane. Yeah. Go to the pizza place. Whatever. I, 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 uh, he hasn't passed any test in his life. Never mind fucking COVID. And he probably swabbed like this. Uh, yeah, yeah. He probably did it wrong. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> he's got. Yeah, he's putting the um, the envelope. You ripped up the. <laughs> I put the swab in my ear. <laughs> yeah. It Wait tested a uh, positive for wax and. <laughs> Go back to that picture. What came out of his ear? I got to see that again. A roach. A roach. roach. And a roach. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Want to confirm? This is what I knew. Look a guy that. like that. I already said. Your father. <laughs> right, a guy like that. This guy got on a plane with strangers and flew while, while yeah. with COVID. Before I went to the airport. Uh-oh. And I was negative. <laughs> so funny. Uh-oh, he's jerking Look off. Look at his face. Uh -oh. the damn thing. Uh-oh, what is he? He's got it on him. Why'd uh, you carry it? Yeah, but I am pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, that is that is Zumok 101. I have, oh, yeah. <laughs> I have the salmon in the fridge. You want me to get it? <laughs> the salmon's in the fridge. Yeah. I got a hospital wristband the day after yeah. it happened. Uh, this, uh, yeah, he's got everything. The, the picture of the, uh, the uh, oil can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get him. <clears throat> Oh, and put it back in your pocket. What the <laughs> fuck? Just in case he he's uh, asked again. Yes. By the way, he's so out of shape that to get that out and in his pocket, he had to lay down on his chair <laughs> yeah. and, and then put it in and then lay down to take it out. That was unbelievable. Now I'm sweating again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now. <clears throat> yeah. Uh oh, you're distracted by chat. Jack Mehoffa, you sang a song about it having it while at the airport. Yeah, I had it. <laughs> I didn't have it. <laughs> Whoa, what? Wait, how did that work? I had it. I didn't have it. Wow, that's cool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use that. Yeah, that's what? And my, my best buddy <laughs> has it. All right, so we have had. Have uh, has yeah. so he, he doesn't he doesn't have it yeah. had it yeah or I, he didn't had it he, I don't know what's going yeah. on I love it though and my niece has it and my brother has it because you gave it to all <laughs> of them. What, what are we talking about here yeah. <laughs> hence. The COVID Christmas song, you freaking idiot. All right, enough of Jack me off. Uh-oh. Oh, he's gone. Why you don't listen? Uh-oh. Wow. Welcome to Blocktober, bitch. <laughs> <laughs>
So to be clear, everyone I was in contact with while I was sick has it. Has <laughs> it. Yeah. As, as in <laughs> now. I had it as in before I left and saw all those people. Yeah, his brother <laughs> called him up and said, I think I have COVID. I, I went to sit on a chair and I just slid right off it. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on here? Everyone I know has had it with me. <laughs> uh, now you're gone if you don't listen then you you know there's nothing i could do i took the that i can still sing about um Uh-oh. have yourself a oh. covid little christmas what i'm not allowed to sing about something i had what i can't say i had a stroke either I can't do a song about having a stroke. You can't do a song about having talent, man. <laughs> you should relax a little. His shoulders are now equal with his earlobes. I can't. Yeah. I, yeah. I've never seen a person like this. Uh, his where, is I mean, it's a straight elevator. line from his earlobes to his shoulder. Yeah. How do you buckle something like that on a plane? Like, how do you buckle him <laughs> yeah. to a seat? Like, there's no... it's, it's unbelievable. It's it's astounding. Astounding. <laughs> an architecture ma- uh, marvel as they call it. it's like god had all these extra parts and they said we just need you to make one more person he's like i don't know let me see what's in here i'll throw this together yeah. Yeah. he's made of hot uh, leftover hot dog meat uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, there he goes. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, he doesn't oh, take oh. a sip. He chugs shit yeah. down. Yeah. But wait, bring that back. Because look, there's like there's big fat folds on either side of his Adam's apple. <laughs> well, the um, Adam's apple the makes Adam's the wave moves, come in. Yeah, and everything else is sort of like bloated around it. It's Watch. Like a, it's, it's, it's like, it's like, like a clitoris he's got The there. tsunami <laughs> starts in the middle of the Adam's apple, <laughs> yeah. and the waves oh, okay. just start coming. Watch. Watch. It's yeah. like a shock wave on his <laughs> neck. Yeah. <laughs> the epicenter. <laughs> Okay, watch it. Here he yeah. goes. Whoa. Oh, don't oh. Like <laughs> it's like gills. Yeah. He has gills on the side of his neck. It's like part gills, part belly dancer. You ever <laughs> check <laughs> belly dance? And she, just, she makes that wave yeah. thing? Wow. <laughs> That's pretty hot, John. I got to admit. Look at you completely different. How do you get a <laughs> collar that flat? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Age old question, my friend. You have to iron that when it's on you. That's the only way to get it. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, that's the only way that'll work. <laughs> you guys want to do a few super chats? Because yeah. I know people will gave sure. some and then we'll get back into this. Uh, Late show, by the way, uh, while we're getting the super chats ready, uh, Compound Media, go subscribe. Go check out mm-hmm. the uh, wonderful programming over there. I was just on last Monday with the boss. Yes, and, awesome. Uh, had a great time. And... Not to mention the boss will be with us May 13th in <coughs> Pottstown, PA at yeah. Soldiers. Um, I got a threat. I got a threat from somebody. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, a text. A text uh-huh. threat. Let me read it so you could uh, see it. It's, um, let's see. Uh, 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 here it is. It's just a phone number. I'm sure it's a fake one. Here it is. Yeah. <clears throat> Can't wait for you to get to Pottsville. Pottsville, it says, uh, Pennsylvania. Some of is some of is FNs have uh, some presents for you, and then a big fist. It will be our pleasure. So hmm. uh, wow. apparently, uh, somebody wants to beat me up. Well, it won't be inside because we're not allowing them inside. <laughs> yeah, well, of course, and it won't be anyway. I, I think that has. Uh, uh, Chad Zumach written all over it, quite frankly. <laughs> if any of you have always wanted to see uh, Anthony get his, get yeah. yours, get yours <laughs> right. at uh, theshuleynetwork.com for the show. Mm. Uh, Galactic Wrestling Federation, $2 Bob's new show, What Bugs Me About Pool Builders. Yes. Mm. Uh, what not, Chaser? The only pool involved with Bob's pool is the betting pool about what date it doesn't show up. Oh, I love it. And the awesome. picture was the guy that's going to get me in Pennsylvania, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and there, he is. there he is. I know him anywhere. <laughs> You're right. Clean credit. Three dollars. <laughs> this is Columbia country. You guys are great. Thank you, Jeremiah. Darling. Uh, Florida's fattest comedian, two dollars. Sad when people can't be healthy with booze. Yes. Uh, Bella, but is there a Kumia Country shirt in the works? Yes, there is. Absolutely. Uh, 
Reeks, five bucks. Know what I realized? You guys don't send me enough money. Oh, John. Yeah, John started his show by yelling at his audience for not uh, donating enough. Yay, Anthony's here. I'm a cuck. There you go. Uh, that's a great coming, coming up soon. Uh, that's uh, Puddin Toot, $9.99. Reels, $4.99. Don't beep with Kumia. That's right. right. Mean Gene, 20 bucks, four aces tonight. Can't be beat. Thank you, Mean Gene and PA. Bird Kreischer from Skull to Skull, the stuttering John story. <laughs> uh, Mar uh, Mark, two bucks. Looks like he's sitting on Jeff Dunham's lap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. He looks like the cashier at a sensibly priced uh, seafood restaurant. Re receipt, please. Did you enjoy your clam? <laughs> Thank you, Colin. Uh, TJ, four ninety nine. Keith the Cop had ties to R Roy DeMeo. Chad yeah. would have been alligator bait. <laughs> yeah, alligator bait. Uh, Anthony Acumia is a boss. Hilarious. Oh, thank Screaming you, Jay Cooper. Um, anyone seen my oil can? I think I left it behind the bar. <laughs> That's on wheels. Uh, Dave Dalfour, look at that. Nineteen ninety nine. Just had to say hi. Hello, bird. Nice. <laughs> Chad's <laughs> look at that. Uh, spare some change for anonymous chatter's eye. Yes, anonymous chatter. Uh, AC heard. Uh, Bob, want your pool dug? Tell John Coors six feet down below. <laughs> Just joined Bob oh, nice. Bird Army boardroom. Jimmy, two dollars. Thank you, Jimmy. Dave Daffler. Does John use rain axe on his knife? <laughs> He reminded me of the lizard woman in V swallowing the guinea pig. Yes, <laughs> yeah, God. I remember that. Oh, my God. Alan Cruz, Anthony, fanboy moment here. Who wins this fist fight, Tony Danza or Stut Joe? Oh, my God. Danza, Danza. in a second. Yeah, of course. Yeah. He's, a, he's a beast. Uh, this idiot's nose. So <laughs> <a beast. laughs> Tony Collette could beat him up. <laughs> Lily, who is grosser, Lady Di or John? Love when Bob called her <laughs> Lady Guy on O and A. <laughs> yeah. uh, Zero Dark Tony, ten bucks. John has a splash zone bigger than Shamu at Sea World. And Daniel Poon, Mister Poon, if this is indeed live, have Bob take off his shirt to prove it, please. All you guys are fucking after me. You I'm fucking not sure. let win. Yeah, it is. It totally is. There's no doubt. Chris uh, Maddie, four nine nine. At least Brennan used a spit rag. John needs a squeegee and a shamu. <laughs> a sham wow. Yeah. A sham wow. Oh, sham wow. Sham wow. <laughs> Backwards. It fucks me up. I can't read tonight. Netflix tonight. forty four. I'll read for you. Uh, when I'm driving, every time I pass school, I have to drink a Coors. OCD. You know? <laughs> Sal 999. Aunt, what's the move? What's the move for Tuesday? Uh, uh, well, um, if you know Trump gets uh, indicted and arrested, uh, we got to take to the streets. All yeah, right, take to the streets. I'm talking, you know, real destruction. Yeah, Anthony, I'm not, really I'm not lying. Anthony I'm not waxing it over. Yeah, Anthony will be at Sullivan's. You guys, get yeah, yeah, yeah. And start I'll watch out the window of Sullivan's while I'm downing some cocktails. Right. <laughs> but you guys uh, tear it up. Uh, putting put to 999 stut joe smacking his lips is infuriating well that's just one of many mm -hmm. uh dabbling and drool and darn nine too bad larry king's gone john could have been a body double <laughs> towards the end yeah john makes chad look like Lawrence olivier yeah. <laughs> uh he looks like he runs numbers for the local retirement home in that <laughs> maddie 499 John looks like his head poked through a tablecloth. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's great. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Oh, oh shit. God. That's me. <laughs> That's me, John. Whoa. Okay. Have another uh, drink here if you don't yeah, mind. Go ahead. Go ahead. What did that shirt say? Johnny Less Cash? Any Johnny on? Less Cash. <laughs> Johnny No Cash. <laughs> <laughs> Now we do have a video <clears throat> of, uh, of uh, John. Do we not, guys? What did we get that? Another uh, there it is. Uh, <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. This is yeah. great. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this special effects. <laughs> yeah. These special effects aren't very special. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
She now, could get it too. I'll we do have that. some breaking news here. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, someone sent uh, someone, a, a, a special person, sent to me uh, this uh, close up. Do you have the close up of the picture? Uh oh. Uh, that she sent. Um, By the way, of the, of the test. I do not. Where is that oh, picture? Mike? Oh, I I, uh, I I emailed it to you. I got it. One second. Okay. Of what test? Oh, could it be of the uh, COVID the, test? The COVID that he, test. That he, yeah, that he oh, that no. he uh, flashed. Oh no. By the way, a thousand people with us tonight. Thank you, everybody, yeah. for hanging and banging with us. We appreciate it. Final four, my ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, when you have that, uh, let me know. I've got it right now. Oh, you got it? Okay. Go ahead. So that looks like two lines. It certainly does. Yeah. Which That's means positive totally. test. Yes. two lines is positive. Yeah. yeah. So. Mm hmm He's a, he's Why, I mean, uh, right. Like, how dumb can you be to know that it's a positive test as you're lying and saying you're negative, and then you hold up the positive test to prove that it's negative? Like, the that's more lines you get, the healthier you are. Yeah. Uh, I went to the Chad Zumach school of lying. <laughs> <laughs> Exaggerating. Right. Yeah, exaggerating. <laughs> I, I embellished. Right. <laughs> when they zig, you lie. <laughs> All right. Oh, I can't sing a song about having a cold because I once had a cold. <laughs> this is the worst Jackie Mason impression I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather watch, watch, watch Jackie Mason and Caddyshack too. Yeah. <laughs> watch oh John. By the way, I got an email tonight because uh, uh, of you coming on, Kumia. This guy, the subject is Kumia, and then the message says, "How does it feel? <laughs> How does it feel being a court Jew? <laughs> what? A what? A court Jew? A court Jew? A court, a court oh, Jew? You're like, a lawyer? <laughs> well, <laughs> a Isn't that a court Jew? A lawyer?" <laughs> <laughs> I what he's trying to say in this email, he comes off like the guy who hates Jews more than Anthony. Than okay. I do, exactly. Right. Yeah, yeah. But I've he goes friends with the Jews my entire life. Right. How, why do you think he made money in fucking? Yeah, Anthony? exactly. Uh, how does it feel being a court Jew? Do you like being his pet, even though he would gladly kill you? <laughs> he would gladly <laughs> kill you. I don't think he'd be glad. Wow. To kill you. There are quite a few people uh, I'd have to get to in line before I reach Shuli <laughs> because of his uh, religion and background. Yeah. I, Jesus. Yeah. I'm not even yeah. in the first 10 chapters, bro. Don't worry. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I have one more bullet right. left. Where, where's Shuli tonight? Got, yeah. <laughs> Shuli's a Jew. Let me. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> Might as well end the night with a bang. <laughs> By the way, Court Jew would have done better than the Night Court reboot, if you if yeah. you ask my opinion. Oh, I hell yeah. Not a show. What do I know? I'd watch that. <laughs> so I people. But the one thing I'll say is if I wasn't vaccinated, <laughs> oh, oh God, is how it bad it would have been. All uh, right. How do you know? <laughs> Exactly. How the fuck do you know? That's their whole thing. Thank God I was vaccinated or it would have been worse. No, people have gotten it that haven't been vaccinated and it was mild or it was severe, just like mm -hmm. vaccinated people. So they always pull this up out of their ass. And this is the same guy who said, I had such a terrible headache. I've never had a migraine, but this was worse. Yeah. Again, it's the same exact thing. Yeah. It's the flu. Guy who's had two TIAs with your mini strokes. <laughs> Think of how bad. Now he's got two TITS, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> isn't isn't a mini stroke the only thing a mini brain can get? <laughs> <laughs> had, I, had I not been playing miniature golf, that would have been. <laughs> if I was not stupid, I could have been very <laughs> <ill>. <laughs> Thank Same God, way I I'm... fuck girls with a mini stroke. <laughs> yeah. Thank God I'm an idiot. This could have been a lot worse. <laughs> this brain damage made me smarter. <laughs> Where's that PSA? <laughs> Hi, I'm John Melendez, and being stupid saved my life. <laughs> if, I, if I wasn't vaccinated. But if you're going to refuse to get vaccinated, 
and refuse to wear masks, <laughs> then you deserve to die. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. Mr. Let me jump on this flight with COVID. You deserve <laughs> to die. Jump on a yeah. plane with an obviously positive test. <laughs> <laughs> After getting his whole Johnny. family sick, his whole family got yeah, sick. Yeah, his whole family got sick. It was amazing. Uh, you know, I, I traced which uh, relatives got sick with pins on a map, and coincidentally, it was exactly where I went. <laughs> Can't believe it. It ended up making the shape of a cock, and it went towards my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Half of my sandwich had the chills all night. <laughs> I flew back what with a it. tool. He can't fucking. He's the most hypocritical motherfucker there is. Honestly, this is pure hypocrisy. He's now preaching to people how to best, you know, protect themselves. And you should die if you don't. And he had a positive COVID test. Everyone he knew had COVID. And he gets on a fucking plane. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Never mind that he exposed his family. Just think how pissed they are. It's like he, it, there was an excuse for him not to show up. And he yeah, didn't take yeah. it. And they're like, oh, fuck, he's coming anyway? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's keeping him back. Nope, yeah. nope. He's got to show up. And the, and the worst thing for him having COVID is he couldn't eat an entire uh, parm sandwich. Uh, <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. You deserve it. <laughs> oh, 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 there it is again. Oh, oh. oh my God. It's like when you water on is going to pop out. Made the two other points. Fucking Quato. <laughs> I want to get to him, then I'll let the I mean, Major talk. Oh. I'm looking forward to talking to my good buddy. I want to applaud somebody. <laughs> oh. Me. <laughs> <laughs> you might know this person. They're kind of great. Of course, I'm talking about me. <laughs> oh, my God. He's doing the talk. Do you guys want me to sing a song? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and I, you know what? It It brought... It almost brought tears to my eyes of happiness. <laughs> tears to my all right, hold on. Brought it tears to my eyes, eyes of eyes of happiness. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have a list of all the sayings he mangles. It's it's <laughs> what were, what were some of the ones right. that he's done recently? He he did one last week that we, did, we keep did he come out of a a boat on fire or something like that. That was one uh, coming out of the boat on fire. What? It was a thing that he, yeah. Um, Mike has a bunch written I, down. I, yeah, he's. He, <laughs> let's do. Yeah, you know, do the shit. Do the shit. That was one. Do the shit is one of them. <laughs> he's so oh, bad at everything. Terrible. Swept it under the table. That's Sweep another it under one. The table. Oh, oh, get your asses together. <laughs> all right, all right, get your asses together. Oh, I love it. Oh, your name has some caveat. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, remember this one? Rubbing nose. Yeah, she loved to rub noses with the rich and famous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> rubbing elbows. Rubbing noses. <laughs> oh, is he an idiot? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh. Cut the fat. Was that another one of his? Cut, Cut the, the fat. fat. Cut the fat. Well, he was chewing. Yeah, I chewing guess maybe. the fat. Yeah. Oh, Cut my God. Fish or cut bait. <laughs> yeah. It's it's unreal. It's yeah. unreal what he does. That person is Amy Schneider. You probably. That was, uh, Mitch Cumstein. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of you are probably going up. Who's Amy Schneider? Yeah, we're all doing that. All right. I'm going to tell you, Amy, Amy, Sh oh. Amy Schneider. Do you, you know? Long, boring story. <laughs> he doesn't even, he just called her Amy. Amy <laughs> Schneider. Chris. A lot of you may not know who she is. I happen to know who she is, but cannot pronounce her name. Yeah. <laughs> so buckle up. Get ready for a 10 minute story that should take 30 seconds. <laughs> 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 brilliant oh. brilliant 
She is the first transgender oh. champion of Jeopardy. <laughs> and <laughs> the fact that he's going to talk about Jeopardy, a show that's oh. way too smart for him. I can't tell you how happy this is making me right now. I might even, it might bring tears to my eyes. Oh, stop. No, come on. It was so nice to watch <laughs> this woman comfortable and happy <laughs> in her own skin. How do you know? Right. What did he call Bruce Jenner in the last episode that we watched? No. The, the he wait, it was a he. It was he a he. It was Bruce, a he. When I well, knew him, it was a he. A he. Oh Mike Mike Whipley said John uh was it John Bon Jovi? What was it? He fucked that one up. What was it? Bon Jovi. Oh, bon Joey. Bon Joey. He called Bon, bon, bon Jovi. Bon Jovi. <laughs> Smiling and laughing. As Just opposed like to most person. guests on Jeopardy who are crying. Right. Yeah. But yeah, like the, the, fact, the fact that he's, it, you know, to watch this trans woman. <coughs> oh, he's pandering. Rip through the potpourri category. <laughs> Not looking back <laughs> for a second. She did. <laughs> <laughs> she ran the board on potent potables. <laughs> and happy. You want to talk about an audio daily double? <laughs> Look at him. He's trying to work up. He's acting. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's just, he's just, just trying to work up tears. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a real film today. I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have some stuff from my real. I gotta show. make up for those super chats. <laughs> Cry, you fucking bitch. <laughs> easy. Just think of a tragic moment in your life. I have many to choose from. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> About how everyone took my COVID from me and my family. <laughs> yeah. that. That'll make me sad. He's and hiding it, onion slices in his collar. <laughs> in his, a whole onion could fit in there. <laughs> Makes me think. Uh-oh. Finally. Oh, uh, look at him. He's oh, like, come oh. on. He's such a phony. <laughs> if, I get, if I get a knuckle in the cornea, I'll get a tear. Out of it. I oh. had this up my ass for the last five minutes, and I'm going to do this. <laughs> Most people don't know earwax irritates your eyes. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's so sad Ugh. that Ooh. people in this country can't handle anybody being different. No one gives a shit. <laughs> right. Oh, wait. What is this? Uh, Hold on. Hold on. Oh, God. It's so sad that people in this country <laughs> can't handle anybody being different. Only one problem. She's got a job. No. Worse. She's got a penis. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Your gender is not based on your genitalia. Get He's that a bumper get sticker that. now. <laughs> He's a He's right. a bumper sticker. Uh, Concept out of your brain. Your job isn't based on what you get paid to do. You can, <laughs> you, you can just make up whatever you want to do at work. What about that? I'll quote my son, who was transgender. Check oh. my dick. <laughs> I'm talking about my kids. <laughs> when he told me that he was transgender, you know, we had a nice hour long talk. Oh, hour? <laughs> An hour? I asked like him it. if he had ever seen me on I'm a Celebrity, get me out of here. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> did a few anecdotes about, about Chris Judd. Yeah. <laughs> It's I okay. showed him the walking stick I got in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> I showed him how to pee standing up. <laughs> want to reshape the walking stick if he needed something. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. And he said, Dad, 
I always felt like a boy trapped in a girl's body. Uh, isn't that what a rapist says? <laughs> <laughs> and that's all we should. That's all you need to know yeah. about the transgender community. All right. Then why do you keep telling us all kinds of other shit? Yeah. That's right. all we need to know. Or this and this and this and that. And then shove it down your throat and then fucking. But I don't give a fuck what people want to do. But yeah. John, you know, they all get so you get very defensive, and John's very defensive about this. He thinks being a, this this bleeding heart liberal with these issues makes him more endearing to people. But he's we've seen John; we know he's a piece of shit. So right. he's lying and pandering for popularity. Let's be real here. And and it's any everyone can see it. Like nobody's fooled by it. Maybe mm -hmm. a few people, but right. Eventually. You know, they, they all get the picture that, that everybody sees right from the start. Right. Unlike yeah. his neck, everybody can see this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look, how would I feel if I was born with a, you know, a vagina? I would still feel like a man. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ. I love how in these, you know, splinter universes that this, this multiverse of like, well, I'd be born with a vagina. I'd still be me that wants pussy all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. He'd still like, feel like a man. You wouldn't know what a man feels like because yeah. you can't be one to know what a man feels like. Just like you can't be a woman because you know what it feels like to be a woman. You can't. Sorry. You're a dude. I, I have a two minute back and forth video with with high pitch Eric when he was about to go into surgery of him worrying that what if I stop breathing when I'm under anesthesia and I go, well, you're not going to know. And he goes, but well, what if I do? And, you know, <laughs> well, then we know for sure we're not getting our money back. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> And it, and and now, like he's got the same mentality, John. Yeah. It's, it's 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 a childlike mentality. Yes, well, that makes perfect sense. This is me. It's not based on what's down there. It's based yeah, it on is. here. <laughs> well, no, it is. It's that's how you but made. That's all tied together hormonally, yeah. the, the, instinctually. There there are roles that have gone through, and and we actually. They're in your your DNA as a man. He, they, they they always take this. They try to uh, simplify some of the most complex shit by just going, "Well, if you think you are, then you are." No, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> and you know what? You're, and listen, if you want to be that way, that's that's fine. But don't you know, care. You don't right. have to get on a goddamn soapbox every day yeah. and and lecture me about it. I'm, I'm not, moving on. You're not yeah. getting me to. Uh, give you pronouns that you want to be her called and everything. I'm not playing ball. I'm not playing mm. along. But live your life. Have a pisser. Don't care. Yeah. I'm with you. Well, maybe this, this is why John grew tits. So he could <laughs> feel Yeah, her. yeah. I know what it's like. <laughs> so when I watch the same Schneider. <laughs> well, here he goes. There you go. Yeah, well, walk a mile in my boobs, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. It really, it just makes oh. me happy. Makes me happy for her. And it makes me happy that society, oh at least a portion of society. That much of society. <laughs> at least the crazy liberal <laughs> Jew entertainment portion of society. <laughs> Four inches of society. <laughs> Accepting people that aren't like them exactly, <laughs> but they no, are. Right here and he cut off his fucking penis, ladies. That's <laughs> <a> terrible. <laughs> oh, oh, look, he can't even get one tear to come down, like his no, cheek no. or something. No. <laughs> He's got well, a better chance of getting a tooth to come out again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying my teeth out over here. <laughs> uh, I was crying so hard last night. My tooth flew out. <laughs> <laughs> and when it was all gay jokes. When I was on a Stern show, I mean, that's how it was. Then we learned. 
learned why. I remember on the Tonight Show, there was a <laughs> phrase you used to say. You go, "Oh, that's so gay." Uh, My friend Bob, a gay man, said, "No, no, no, no. you can't say that." And I go, "What? what why?" Because because that's saying that gay is a bad thing. And I I go, "Wow, you know, I never thought about it." So oh, stupid. that's so gay. And that's and <laughs> grow. <laughs> So he never thought that was bad. You you said it because it was supposed to be an insult. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, it wasn't yeah. a compliment back in the day. It right. definitely I mean, was. You, you can owe up to maybe you shouldn't say it because it is hurtful, but you didn't realize that was bad. You didn't say it, in 1990, you didn't say somebody, hey, you're you, that was really gay. Nobody would say thanks. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. And and also, you know, this guy, hey, Chandler, nine. So if John is what's in his head, does he even exist? <laughs> I know. It's crazy. It's like inception. Yeah. But the only way you're going to really mean it, if you say somebody's gay, if like they just suck down two dicks, you go, that was really gay. You know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, that so still one, fits. one's not? Well, no. Well, well, one one is just, yeah, yeah. It's like, you know, but two, three is like totally gay. You could trip and, you could yeah. trip and fall. And I was going to say, one, you may trip and yeah. accidentally yeah. land with a dick in your mouth. We've all been there. Everybody has accidents, Mike. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, actually, well, Meat Puppet, uh, he, he had, uh, did a chat, a uh, paid chat, but he had a very good point. I don't know if you want to bring that up about John. Meat Puppet? Yeah. Is that his thing? real name? I, the guys can find it. They, they uh, bring it up, boys. Because it's a very good uh, telling. There it is. He, oh, go ahead. There bring it up. Go. <laughs> there it is. There we go. Uh, he is so proud of himself, yet he had no inkling that his child was trans uh, until he had about an hour conversation <laughs> with him about it. Yeah. Great point. Yeah. Yeah. Most parents. <laughs> Do they say like, oh yeah, we knew when he was six years old that yeah, he was different, I, I, or that absolutely. yeah, your daughter's a bo a boy in a girl's body up until whatever age they had that conversation, and John just didn't know. Didn't yeah, know. Just, it no, kind of hit me when I seen him when I seen her shaving her balls. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of. John was t boned at an intersection with this news. He had he didn't even <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My last point I'm going to make. And by the way, told nothing of the Jeopardy. Uh, so, like, yeah. if you're so proud yeah. of this woman, then be like, wow, you know, she she won this much money or she answered uh, this one question. Remember one question, one answer that she got would be impressive to add to this no. fucking story that goes nowhere. Right. Just the fact that she was a trans person on something That's so it. he could now... Uh, bullshit and pander to the audience. Yeah, yep. it doesn't make somebody retarded. You know what I mean? If they change, you know. So right, fuck? right, right. You have your dick, Bob. <laughs> Is this it made me strong? And I'm, I'm going to talk to Army Major about it in a second. I watch what I think so far <laughs> this year, and there's only two days left. The best movie oh, I've no. seen all year. Oh Maybe. Jesus, no. Last night, I felt bad because my friend is stayed on crying me. game. <laughs> the crying, <laughs> the almost crying game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, came over to hang out with me, and I go, "Look, I'm right in the middle of this movie, man. I'm loving this movie." He sat for a second, and I just couldn't focus. I'm like, "Dude, you know, I'm sorry. Come back in like it'll be done in half an hour." That movie is called Don't Look Up. Oh, God. <laughs> that was a Netflix movie with <sighs> DiCaprio. Leo and, DiCaprio, yeah. And Jennifer, what's her name? Uh, Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah. A not very subtle <laughs> metaphor <laughs> for climate change. Yes. And, and it's like, and of course... This is the greatest movie he's ever seen. Oh, of course. Movies suck. I love DiCaprio. The movie stunk. Yeah, it's it terrible. Was terrible. <clears throat> you know what? You know what? You should guys should watch. It's on uh, on demand now. Is that Knock at the Cabin? That oh, and that, oh yeah, yeah. I saw that one. <laughs> yeah, that was good. I like that fucking movie. That was fucking twisted. It's great because Batista can just rape you anytime he wants, and there's <laughs> nothing you can do about it. You know, he's, so he's a he's, hero in the movie. 
<laughs> he is, but he doesn't do it, but which I was a little disappointed. Thumbs down. Yeah. All right. yeah. The homework for everybody here. Well, good. That's what watch. people who watch a podcast want. Is homework. <laughs> they want a good assignment. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys need to pay me more and do homework. <laughs> what a fun homework show. assignment. I was a substitute teacher. I just wasn't proud of it, so I didn't tell him. <laughs> there he is. Yeah. Oh, homework. What a fun show. Don't Look Up. <laughs> Starring Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> <laughs> the teenage mutant ninja. <laughs> ah, Jennifer. Oh, oh. <laughs> he just he just made a snot watch with his. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It it? Watch. It's yeah. now time to take a shower. Yeah. <laughs> like it's quarter after booger. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody here is to watch. Don't look up. Starring Leonardo DiCaprio. Here, watch. Good one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Meryl Streep. And a bunch of black guys. I didn't bother remembering <laughs> their names. Of other great actors. And the it's rest. Anna McBay. <laughs> McVay. <laughs> <laughs> and the great actor release poster. Uh, yeah, who was this McVeigh that blew up the fucking government yeah, building? Timothy, Timothy McVeigh. Yeah, the great Timothy McVeigh. <laughs> oh my god, Maybe Muhammad not. Atta. <laughs> Maybe they're, all, they're all terrorists. But Lee also did uh, the wrestle with Mickey Rourke. <laughs> he did not. He, he did not. He's he's terrible. He Holy gets every shit. every oh, single man. thing he gets wrong. Wow. wow. And not you know it it is a comedy, but it's pointing out. Oh, oh Jesus! Oh God! That, oh. That when a cataclysmic event like a comet, like my show, <laughs> like <laughs> a cataclysmic. <laughs> Oh, God. About to annihilate our planet. Yeah. Oh, the president only cares about the poll numbers. Mm -hmm. And they try and tell these scientists to not talk about it. Then they try and profit on it, thinking they can mine the comet to make money. Mime the comet? Oh, yeah, yeah comet. mime, <laughs> mime the comet. <laughs> Pulling it in with a lasso. <laughs> I would just put it in a clear box so it can't get out. <laughs> that is mime from space. Yeah, yeah. Maybe Hammer a clear umbrella box. over the uh, earth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, I mean, he. Why he doesn't do a movie review show is beyond. Oh me. my god. Oh, I would watch be that great. in a heartbeat. Yeah. Then they start wearing hats, red hats. Oh. Doesn't they make America great again? It says, "Don't look up." But I, but I got it, guys. Uh -uh. I figured it out. I know what that means. Uh huh. Because they don't want people to see the science. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh that is so terrible. How about John? Don't look up. I'm disgusted yeah. that view <laughs> of your fucking. Bobbling neck lump. Can't, can't look down. The Melendez. Part. It looks like he's trying so hard to take a drink, like he's never done it before. Yeah. He's yeah. learned. He's learned. It's like a robot that's trying to learn how to act human or something. You know. Wow. Oh, and coincidentally, Meryl Streep plays the president, and it's perfect. Because she's playing Trump. And guess who her chief of staff is? Her dumbass son. Daffy Duck. Which is a, <laughs> like a, a, a total amalgamation. Uh, like, yeah, good luck, Mike. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, God. Look at him. I can't wait to see what he comes out with. This is going to be uh, great. A total uh, eclipse yeah. of the heart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A combination. I'll, t I'll accept combination. Combination. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. 
amalgam um, yeah. metaphor. Oh, uh, uh, he's not getting yeah. close to any of those. No. I don't know. <laughs> now, something else. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, I don't know. Fuck it. Uh, <laughs> Holy fuck, is that like hilarious? Sc- he tapped scanners. <laughs> he just made his man about. Oh, Jesus. Out. Oh. And you spoke about your your daughter. Well, uh, it's my well, son. It was your son. The- oh, 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 dead oh. fucking gendering. Uh, <laughs> it's on, bitch. Oh. Your daughter. Well, my no. son. Because it's the way they all describe it. They go, my son came to me and said that he's transgender. Now, you have to address it as a son now, regardless if you're talking about before or after. So when right. you say that, you assume that now the son wants to be his daughter. So right. no one knows how to fuck to address this shit. Agreed. Agreed. It's all it's all uh, it's it's like my dad used to snap his this hand and then he'd smack me with the other one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> see, That's what they're doing. Yeah, look over here. Bam. Right. <laughs> That's what they're doing to us over there. <laughs> Here's your daughter. That's your daughter. You know, because your son has chose to live. Right. <laughs> no. As a female. Correct. No. Oh, so so it's the other way around. It was a daughter. Yes. OK, OK. The, the, that's your son. So yes. you have a daughter. Son. <laughs> Right. Well, that's not confusing wow. at all. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> like he's trying to tell John, no, dude, you got a daughter. Right. Don't say a son. Thank right. God he, a thank son, God he brought in a fucking expert. You know? <laughs> yeah, he yeah. An expert to figure it out. <laughs> well, I mean, Einstein picture behind him. Listen, the the uh, one thing the uh, military knows is transgender. I mean, am uh, I yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Am yeah. I right? Who's with me on that? So uh, keep those super but, chats coming. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, compound media, ladies and gentlemen, go give him some love. Uh, Mr. Kumi has been down with us from day one. He's, he's always been good to us. Love it. There's, there's all, uh, the stuff you can follow them on. Um, and he will be with us May 13th. Uh, and, and we can't wait, man. There's more places, uh, that are interested in this, in this gig that we're doing this Let's road do uh, show. So there'll be more of it. Perry's going to be there, which I'm excited. Yeah. For those worlds to collide. Uh, plus, we may have another surprise or two that uh, I'm supposed to hear back from this week. And uh, so it, it, it's shaping up to be one hell of a Saturday afternoon. May 13th, the shulynetwork.com takes you right to the ticket site. 25 bucks uh, start price, $40 VIP meet and greet uh, tickets. And, uh, and, and yeah, come hang out. It's going to be a blast. Bichetti's yeah. there. Thank uh, you. Casey Armstrong, uh, Brian Phelan from Howard TV is oh, going to yeah. be there. High Pitch Eric's coming down because he's oh, dying God. to meet you. He he can't wait to, to see you, Anthony. Gonna Let's see if Anthony one. can find a place to hide. I, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I love he it. He is Please. going to be all over. He's just going to be like, can I call in? What's the number? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> We told we told him we're paying him for the gig, and the pay is he doesn't have to pay us back. The fucking each Bob and I each loaned him 150 bucks that we've never seen again since. So the same day, <laughs> same day, the same bill we had to pay. Yeah, yeah. We're both talking later. We go, yeah, I gave Eric 150 bucks, and then the other guy's like, I did that too. Oh Jesus! How did <laughs> you think you were ever getting it back? No, yeah, but they not. call it. They call him yeah. retarded. <laughs> and we're the ones uh, yeah. money. <laughs> Uh, Mark, sorry, I missed that, buddy. Go ahead, throw that up there real quick. Uh, but yeah, I, I just wanted to mention uh, May 13th again. Come on out, come hang with us. It's gonna be fun. Mark saying five bucks. I'm driving up from Fort Myers to get my oh, catalytic wow. converter. Back. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, those um, things are expensive, man. Yeah, you and Gavin riffing about that theory oh, was fucking so funny. funny as hell, man. How I had much are they words like like to take him off? Like I don't know. Uh, talk to your buddy Zuma. <laughs> <laughs> talk to your boy. He knows the going rate. I'm sure. Yeah, tell him to check his blue book. See what it's going for today. <laughs> uh, uh, thanks, Anthony, for uh, for yeah. coming on with us. Uh, Love it, dude. It. And uh, anytime, we love having you. You're, you're, so much you're fun. 
yeah, it's, it it's great. You, you gave me, you know, more than an hour's advance notice and I'm, I'm on. I, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting on that. We're getting better at it. No, I, lo I love it, man. You guys know I fucking love you guys doing this. is so much fucking fun. You guys are awesome. Yeah. All right, brother. Well, have a good night, Ant. We'll let yeah. you go, pal. We got a good. Super Chats to read, and we're out of here. Thank you, Mr. Kumi. Have a cool. good night. Take Thank it easy. Going, See all you guys. Take it easy, Levy. Take care. Come on in, man. I, I I miss having you on the show. Okay, we'll figure something out today. Yeah, yeah. We will. We will. <laughs> I'm, I'm we'll, fucking with you. Yeah, okay. I'll fucking with you, too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, fucking smart uh, answers. Uh, all right, uh, gentlemen, uh, take it easy. Okay, <laughs> right there, uh, the great Anthony Kubia, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> as uh, always a pleasure. Um, yeah, good show, guys. Skull and Frunkus. Frunkus, I don't know. All right, two dollars. That, that must be, uh, that must be, is that a John thing or? I don't, I don't know, know what Frunkus is. Man. I don't know. That shirt, everything, it just threw me off tonight. <laughs> he, he was so John tonight. It was such a great package. Graham Murphy, two dollars. He uses the gills to breathe while he's drinking. <laughs> that I'm you know what? Find. That makes sense. Best yeah. production team on YouTube. Amen. Amen. Yep. Boom. Yep. Uh, Dave Daffler, nine ninety nine. I'm in a car and reception sucks. Just want to support the channel. Ant is awesome. Thank you, Dave. And you do, buddy. Uh, Frunkus is a mixture of words, freaky and funky. Oh, uh, well, uh, YouTuber dollar ninety nine. How was right? John should have aborted. Oh, how dare you? <laughs> uh, Frig Snowden, two dollars. I don't wash my my Heimie Schmider. Court J, that's like an NBA. Oh, Court J, that's like an NBA. And oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you for the clarification, Chad. So, all right, two dollars. John Russo, two deformed point, <laughs> pointer fingers just stole my truck. <laughs> Buy AC's new book uh, coming out before the end of the year. You got it. Uh, John alternate saying, you're skating on thin grass. I'm surprised we haven't heard that yet. Yeah, that would be a good one. Uh, John's thinking, uh, I think, therefore I am. I think, I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, what do we got here? Bob's great, but he's only 60. He looks 200. How dare you? That's the camera. This guy's in the best shape of his life. Yeah. Read That's that one. Much. Uh, dabbling and drooling, four ninety nine. And instead of the squeegee bit with John's head sinking like it does by the end of the show, he can give himself oral for a finale. Just like Joe Rogan. Yeah. Uh, Cardiff Electric, please and desist. Two dollars seventy nine cents. Uh, can you address the crap, <laughs> crap show Cardiff put on the other day? He pissed off an entire fan base. The entire fan base should be upset that they're upset at a guy being a potato. Like, what do you, what do you get upset about? He's not really a potato either. Don't what? don't go out and riot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> when he drinks, his gullet looks like a gator swallowing a grouper. I like that. <laughs> when I, w I went to Outback last night, and they go, uh, you want a potato with that steak? I said, absolutely not. <laughs> he tricked me. <laughs> he tricked me. <laughs> and he's like, what are you talking about? I know. That's my favorite thing is people are like, I believe that potato. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, well, you listen to yourself. That's the problem right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> you just, you can't find honest potatoes anymore, you know? <laughs> I don't even go near the fruit section in the so, store anymore. I mean, imagine the thought. The guy who punched Chad, everyone is wanting to talk to him. He goes, you know what? I'm going to talk to this potato guy. Mm -hmm. That's who I'm going to give this exclusive to. So, Bob, Bob, you don't go to the fruit section of the store because you don't want to see a potato? Vegetables, too. Oh, okay. I don't go into any of it. They're all over <laughs> now. There's all I don't over. think you've gone to either of those anyway. Uh, oh, he I does. Know. He walks by it and goes, nice try. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even need butter. Fuck you, <laughs> potato. <laughs> Uh, Graham Murphy, two dollars. Bob is a bird of the night. He's ageless. Thank That's you. Right. Uh, Frick's knowing you guys give me laughs every day, past and present vids. Love uh, from T Town, Bama. Nice. Thanks, bud. Thank you. All right. Well, I think we're all caught up. Uh, fun show tonight. Yes. We're on uh, BS tomorrow. Oh, we got Blunder Years tomorrow, or are we doing that later? You guys want to uh, do that? Later? What time? I don't know. Maybe we could. What's on tomorrow night? So tomorrow night we would normally have a Rico at eight. 
Okay. So we, we can do Blunder at six if you want. What do you we think? We can also do this in the meeting that follows the show. Seven? Yeah, yeah let's up? talk about it in the meeting. Let's just talk right. after. Fig- fig- All right. Out. So listen, we'll be on tomorrow. BS for sure at 11. Oh, yeah. Shuley tickets Tampa, April 13th. Uh, I'm at Side Splitters in Tampa. I don't know if Chad's still doing it or not. Um, but, you know. I'm sure he, he is. He lives there. I, listen, I'm not throwing him off the bill. If anything, yeah. he can quit. But I, I refuse to fire Chad. What do you think of that? Yeah. Thank you. I'm the only one. Uh, and then April 15th, uh, I'll be in Charleston, South Carolina at the Sparrow. Shuley tickets, uh, Charleston. Uh. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and that's what I got. Boys, what do you got? Well, if you'd like to follow me on uh, social media, you can find me on Twitter. Uh, at Mike, uh, at oh, what the fuck am I? Oh yeah, at Mike Moore says, and on Instagram, I was looking. I thought it would be up. There. What are you? Uh, yeah, is <laughs> this at, isn't the real Mike Moore. Mike Moore says, and on Instagram at Insta Mike Morris, and of course, all over the Shuley Network, uh, I will be appearing at Catch a Rising Star in Princeton, New Jersey, on April fourteenth and fifteenth. So check that out. And also, if you'd like to buy a book. Uh, just for fun, I, I co-wrote Ha Ha History. And, My dog uh, hates to read. <laughs> your dog hates to read. So get this at Amazon.com. Yes, tomorrow, uh, MLC podcast on YouTube, uh, 4 o'clock, uh, five days a week now. Uh, MLC podcast on Patreon, March 31 and April 1st to Comedy Cove, Comedy Club. Located above Scotty Steakhouse in Springfield, New Jersey, scottysteakhouse.com. And uh, <laughs> basically, I was talking to Johnny Watson last night. I go, do they have a nice mailing list? Because like I've been, it's been packed everywhere since January. He goes, yeah, but they don't send it out because they get charged $40 for it. I said, tell them I'll send the $40 to them. You know what I mean? They can take that right. out of it. The- because they're not, and it's just incredible that people try so hard not to do anything right. It's yeah. just amazing. They succeed in not doing anything. Right. <laughs> oh no! I but believe me, I, I've heard, I've heard. Yeah. So if if I get fucking fifty people on Friday, that's fucking oh, unbelievable. It, you know, it, get for, ready for a BJ from one of the owners if you if you get. No, I'm just gonna say, oh, look, I'm gonna find out tomorrow, and I'm gonna say I will pay for the mailing list because as long as they advertise right. You know, even to those people, the 2,000 people will be fine, you know? But right. if they don't do it, it's like, how does people know, really, except for listening here? You know what I mean? It doesn't make yeah. any sense. So why are you trying to not make money? I, I have no idea. Some we'll people, find out if that's true. Some people live for that. It's crazy. Anyway, yeah. uh, uh, who else is at the Charleston show? I don't know, bud. Uh, I'll look into. I'm not bringing an, an opener with me, so Chad Zuma, put him on. <laughs> Chad wants to <laughs> head down. He can he can come on that one as well. All right, uh, sure. thank you, thank you everybody for tuning in. Subscribe, follow. Uh, if you listen to the audio podcast, leave a review and a rating, and uh, and thanks for supporting everything we do. YouTube members, we're almost at 300. Uh, Patreon still going strong. Everybody, can't thank you enough for the support, man. We love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night, Uncle Rick. And pee in pots down. You're not going to have a better time, I'm telling you. That's Uncle Rico's show. That's all for the Uncle Rico show. Grab one more beer and shout out. Go good. <laughs> Uh. This is Stuttering John saying, Gay!